Welcome everyone back inside the Mass Mutual Center. Pete Souza once again alongside Sam Dossler. The Armour tonight looking for three in a row for the first time all season, but they are playing the Erie Bayhawks once again. Springfield beat Erie on Friday. They won at Delaware on Saturday. So their first two game winning two game winning streak of the season. So they're going to look to build on that. And a big part of the recent resurgence for Springfield, the inside outside game. Darius Johnson Odom averaging better than 22 points per game, and Jeff Foot, the seven footer from Cornell, in the middle. He scored in double digits in four of the last five games. And those two are a big reason that Springfield is starting to make a little bit of a push at the playoffs. Well, we've got an inside out game for you. We've got Nate Brown up in the concourse with Fandemonium. We've got Chris Marsh just right inside with the community corner. And a whole lot more. And Pete, you also got a chance to talk with Willie Reed, the proud father, Willie Reed. Pete Souza pregame with Willie Reed. Willie, it is always a family affair, but tonight it's a little different. Well, yeah, definitely. I got uh, Nathaniel Reed here. This is his first armor game, and, you know, he's going to bring us some good luck tonight. He was born last week. Has fatherhood been everything you expected? It's been everything I could expect and more. You know, it's definitely been a blessing. And every time I come home, I'm looking forward to just spending time with him and holding him. Well, we talked about you knew you were going to be able to get away whether you were home or on the road. Can you walk us through the hours before and after when he was born? Well, before it was just really just I couldn't wait for him to get here. You know, it was just, just that feeling of I just can't wait to hold him and spend time with him and let him come to events like this. And then, um, you know, after he was born, it was, it was really just a shock. I forgot all about that and just started thinking about, you know, how fatherhood was going to be from now on. And the mother, Jasmine, how is she doing? She's doing great. You know, she's, she's over there talking it up right now and, and spending some time with the fans. You know, she just is her first game back, too. So it should be really exciting tonight. Is she as happy as you are? Uh, yeah, she definitely is. I mean, she has to wake up a little bit more than I have to because I get a chance to go on the road and get away for a little bit. But it's been great. Rumor has it the Nets organization gave you a gift. Yeah, I mean, that's a classy organization. You know, they, they got me a stroller uh, for my son, and that's been unbelievable. You know, we go a lot of places, we walk around. So for him to be able to go with us and instead of carry him, be able to push him around, it's been great, especially for Jasmine. Well, last week, Jasmine delivered. This week, you delivered. Against Delaware, 21 points, 11 rebounds, three blocks. What led to the outburst? Uh, it was. It just had a lot more or less on my mind. You know, I got my son now, so I'm not stressed and not worried about you know when he's gonna come and you know when I'm gonna get to see him. It's just strictly basketball from here on out and just making sure that I can provide for him. Hey Willie, you can't leave him with me because I'm not a real good babysitter. All right. <laughs> Willie Reed sounding and looking exactly like he knows what he's doing, and it was actions like that on the floor that enabled him to get called up last year in April of all times. April 17th, called up by the Memphis Grizzlies, Sam. Yeah, called up by the Grizzlies, was part of their Western Conference Finals run. Didn't see any action on the floor, but just got to be part of that NBA atmosphere. And he's really putting together another good season here for Springfield all year long. He's been in the prospect watch list, and he missed a couple of games for the birth of his son. But now he's back, and he's really getting his form back 21 points uh, the other night against Delaware. So Willie Reed is starting to find his rhythm again on the, on the court. We got Chris Martridge. He had a chance to talk with Kelly Kelly of Boston Medical Center. Next Saturday, we have Health and Safety Night. Thanks, Sam. I'm here with Kelly Kelly of Boston Medical Center Health Net Plan. Kelly, can you talk to us a little bit about the event coming up this weekend? Sure. Um, I'm from Boston Medical Center Health Net Plan. We are a managed care organization through Mass Health. We service over 280,000 members um, in Massachusetts. Um, we actually have collaborated with the Springfield Armor for Health and Safety Night tonight. We're very excited um, to have this collaboration to bring what the police and fire do out in the community um, to everyone here who attends the games. And the Armour will be wearing some special jerseys this Saturday. Can you talk a little bit about what's going to be on them? Sure. The jerseys are actually um, carrying the police and fire insignias as well as the BMC Health Net logos. And those jerseys will be raffled off for a local community organization. And they won't be the only thing spotlighting this Saturday's game against the Charge? Yes, we were actually able to work with the Springfield um, Fire Department and Police Departments to come in and do some information tables, as well as the Sheriff's Department, who will be here doing retina scans um, and providing child ID kits for um, everyone in attendance. And there you have it, fans. Be sure to join us at the Mass Mutual Center this Saturday, February 8th at 7 o'clock p.m. when the Armour take on the Canton Charge and their special Police and Firefighter Tribute jerseys. 
Sam Dostler back with head coach Doug Overton. And coach, you guys are playing some good basketball now, two games in a row, looking to make it three tonight. Yeah, um, it's a big one tonight. I uh, like to keep the ball rolling. The guys are playing well and uh, um, you know, getting the stops when we need them. And, uh, and just hopefully we can continue to play well. One guy playing really well for you at the guard position, Darius Johnson Odom, and he's been playing well really since he came aboard. Yes, he has, and he's hitting strides now. He's getting comfortable with the guys, and everybody's kind of on the same page now. And uh, you know, he, he he's a great explosive player. Um, you know, really doing a great job of uh, running the point guard position and leading our team. And uh, you know, he's kind of leading the way for us right now. And down low, you have a, a very nice combination working right now with Jeff Foote and Willie Reed working together. Yes, they playing really well together. Jeff is, uh, you know, he's our hub, our offensive and defense, a guy that can calm us down. We can throw the ball into and play out of him. And, and he stares us defensively. Uh, he's a guy in the middle making the plays uh, and talking and uh, getting our guys going. So Jeff is playing well. R Willie's bringing great energy off the bench. And uh, when, he, when he's playing on all cylinders, he, we're, we're a much better team. Springfield Armor and the Airy Bayhawks coming your way next on the NBA Development League Network.